of it. Okay. I haven't really seen how it grew, but I can explain. So it started it. in the 80s? Actually, because I don't remember it. No, back then. it wasn't until it wasn't until 2000s that they actually started doing it as a tour. Okay. Because anybody could hop in the water anytime on their own and do it. And what I what I had done, and this is my example of it, is in in early 90s when I moved to the island myself. I'm in my early 20s and I had no money. They didn't do any tours, so I would go up to a place called Mahu Corner, which is where Kauai High is at the corner of Kohala there, and you go towards uh, Hapi, a little ways. It's just a small boat harbor that has a single street lamp above the ramp. And my buddies and I would just grab a cooler, a bunch of beers, throw our snorkel on or our fins, hop in, and we're just sitting there, and the manas are all around us. And we would just do that all the time. And I just, that's just what you did. Nobody ever was going to make a tour out of it. But that's when, when the numbers really started booming in 2000 to 2005 and then beyond. Then more and more companies decided they could get, you know what, I can make a tour out of this thing. You know what, I can make some money. People would pay. Or actually what happens is a guy would volunteer his boat meet some tourists and say, you know what, come out with me. We're going to go check out the man. It's just hop on the boat. We'll go for a nice night and experience it. No cost. They just did it because that's the way the locals would be. Then the tourists that were with them would say, you know what, you can charge for this. And that's how the cycle all starts is that someone says, you know what, I can charge for this. I can get this much money. You know what, I'm going to get a bigger boat. Right? And then it just cycles from there. Goes out. See, I never told anybody we always used to go to Mahu Kona. We just jump in right there. <laughs> so how, how many? How many? How many? How many boats are now doing? Is it like dozens? Is it like you know? There's at least, and and the way we work as well is we try to, to take the cream of the crop or the legitimate companies that have been doing it for a long and time. Promote them. Who, yeah, and that's mm -hmm. who we we work with for a long time. Um, there's probably at least. 16 tours that go right to the Sheraton area. There's some others that go right outside here by the airport. Mm -hmm. This is a great spot out here as well. Um, one of the things with the Manna Dive that's great is you can take the entire family. You can take the extended family. If you're a certified diver, you can get in and down. If you're not, you can snorkel and sit right on top. And if you're not even that excited, you can sit in the boat and still get a similar experience. So. Any level can experience the mantis to whatever extent you're comfortable with. But it, it is. It's just it's grown immensely to where they're looking at putting some type of restrictions on it. And they is the state? The, the Department of Land and Natural mm -hmm. Resources um, and the Harvest Division as well. So to make sure that the boats match up with the tours and everything's legitimate. And kind of what they did with Mauna Kea Summit. Mauna Kea Summit in the 1970s, you could do tours back then mm. up to the summit. Mm. Now they're restricted to eight tour companies that can bring 24 people every night. So that's the number. You know you're going to have a cap. There are many people that drive up there themselves to go to the to the visitor center and check out, but they don't go to the summit um, unless you have a four-wheel drive, and then there are many of those that go up there beyond that. But that same type of restriction is what they're looking for with the manas is okay we can only take 10 boats tonight and each boat can only have this many bodies on it and i don't think it has done anything to the mantas themselves because i think putting the lights out there creates a food source for them and that's why they come in and that's why they do it they're not running away from the people they're actually coming towards them it's yeah, there's always two sides of the story, and, and we're finding the same thing with the dolphins as well. Is hmm. there's, there's dolphin tours that are out there where 